Whether you like it or not, Stance is a large part of the automotive car culture, mostly among the younger demographic of car enthusiasts. Here at Gears and Gasoline, we have covered Stance before. We took an 8,000 mile road trip in Stance cars to really experience Stance. However, throughout the course of the entire road trip, we never found the reason for why people stance their cars. So I went out to talk to the owners firsthand to see if I can finally figure out why people stance their cars. My name is John, also known as 5 John. This is a 2015 Mustang GT. It's a 5 I got it back in 2021 for the best deal ever. It is cambered out, static. It's a nice stance car, that's all I would say. Why did I stance my car? There's really no actual answer, but when I was in high school, I saw accounts such as like Static Club or Fear of Dying, and I just loved the look of like how the cars were built. And when I grew up, I finally got myself my own car and decided to do it. Say f it and just say I'm slam my car, and here it is, driving around the world, going to Gatlinburg and stuff. So social media is the biggest part of getting me into stands. I was never a fan of Mustangs in first place or Camber. All these videos on YouTube in Japan, have they posted pictures of slamming their cars out to drift. Social media kind of taken that culture from Japan, I would say, and brought it over here and it is now like half the, half the world. Stance cars are everywhere. With my car, I've kind of met a lot of people online and met them in person, such as like existence, fear dying, graveyard people. These are like all social clubs and car clubs for stance cars. And I met them all in person. They're great people. And it's like, I wouldn't give that up for anything. I found a lot of friends through the stance community, people that I play video games with. It all started with just having a stance car and, and meeting them online and then meeting them in person. Um, and it's led into long-term friendships. It looks toxic at first, but there is good people in it. I stance my car because it looks appealing to me and I just like the look of being low instead of just a regular ride height. Stance is pretty big a part of my life because I, I usually find a lot of people on in person and then I get their Instagram and we usually become friends and start hanging out. I think social media has influenced me because it's gotten me out there more and I've just been able to meet a lot of people and go to a lot more meets. I build my car 50-50, mostly for fun and mostly just to be unique. I just find if I can find a way to make it unique and I have other people's opinions, it'll be more appealing. Clearly there's a strong community in stance on social media. There are accounts dedicated to posting stance cars that have millions of followers. Just like other subcultures in the car community, like drifting or road racing, stance owners can find other people who enjoy the same kind of builds that they do. One thing that seems to be common amongst the stance community is how much these cars get damaged from stance. Yeah, my car has taken a lot of damage from stance. So here's like the damage that stance has done to my car. Um, my front lip is gone. I had a lip before this coming here actually. And if you come around here, all my wheels are curbed up. My, uh, my side skirts are holding on for dear life right now, a little by a little thread. And as you can see, my fender is bacon up in like four pieces right now from my camera arms coming out loose. Stancing my car has absolutely done permanent damage to it. The inner fenders are completely gone now. I've had to relocate stuff. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's definitely not friendly to keeping a car pristine. My exhaust is held on by thread. It's only a single exit, but it's been smacking the ground so much that it's barely holding on. My fender has decided to go inside my wheel and destroy my tire while my bumper is slowly falling out. Smack that back together. I've broken some things because I stanced my car, like CV axles and busted oil pans and transmission pans and scrapes on the gas tank, but that's about it. Same thing on this side. Side skirts are like falling off from the middle and all my wheels are curbed, so. Stance can mess you up a little bit. <laughs> With how much these cars seem to break and get damaged from stance, I had to know if the owners liked their cars more before or after they modified them. I liked it before I stanced it. It was a comfortable car. I, it's now too bouncy, but it's still a fun car. But before that, I used to be able to actually drive normal roads and not have to swerve everything. But it, it still makes it. I made it here. I liked my car after I stanced it because when I had it at a regular ride height, uh, I was already into cars and the big car scene and I wanted to go lower. I think it's better because of the looks, not the drivability of it. My car is definitely less functional now that I've modified it. Stance is not about having a more functional vehicle, it's about the style. Stance owners are willing to sacrifice drivability and reliability for looks. 
but is Stance worthwhile in the long term? Stance, I feel like it gets a little old. It's fun driving around, having your friends and like mobbing around, people would say. But Stance is like, the little Stance culture is getting to the end, to the end point, not gonna lie. I, I, I don't expect a older guy to be in a slam negative 20 camber a car, any car. It's more of like a, a younger kids thing. Uh, some people do like it, which is, who are older and stuff, but it's just like a little hobby. I don't expect this to go any far into the future, but for now it's pretty fun, so I would say. I don't think people stay in it forever. I know people that stay in it and I know people that don't. I feel like we're just exploring an option. Like for me, I'm exploring an option that I wanted to do with a car. You know, I, I set a goal and the goal is just kind of progressed. I feel like stance is gonna be permanent with me. A lot of people say they get in it and they just get tired of it and they lose motivation, but if you keep being unique, then it'll go on for a while. Yeah, I think it's a young person game. I've been doing this since I was 16 and I'm 18 now. And it's like being younger, like you wanna do more things with your car and you have more time to do it. For most people in the stance community, staying in the scene doesn't seem like a long-term plan. Most of them eventually want to move on to another subculture in the car community, like road racing or drifting. I was looking to drifting. I've seen, I've been to a lot of drift events and I, I honestly like that culture of like, just swinging your car around, destroying it and not really caring. It's, it looks really fun. This car is automatic, sadly. So I know a lot of people hate it. So I can't really swing it or go take a swing. But if it was manual, I would be at an event right now, swinging my car. I do eventually want to venture into building a track car. At one point it was going to be this car. I was just going to kind of convert it over um, and then other things happened. I think at this point I'm in so far that I'm just going to buy another car and do that. But eventually I will get to a point where I build a track specific car, whether that's a stock car with bigger, better brakes or it goes further than that. Usually it always goes further than that. I'll probably switch off to maybe like autocross or something. I really find, I really enjoy like watching it and it'd be cool to have an autocross car. Possibly drifting, because I've never experienced a rear wheel drive car before and I think it'd be fun to learn. It would be easy for me to say that Stance is unfunctional and unattractive, but only one of those descriptions is factually true. These Stance cars are in every sense less functional than an unmodified version of the same car. But to some, these cars look good. As someone who prefers cars that perform better in a motorsports application such as road racing or drifting, I think that style of build looks good, but I won't waste my time being angry or hating Stance. John, Travis, and Ryan clearly like Stance, and there are hundreds of thousands of people across the world who like it as well. So even if you don't like Stance cars, at least you can understand why someone would Stance their car. The only way I could convince people not to hate Stance is that it's not really ruining anything or hurting the car community. It's just a type of style that people love. And I know it's stupid and people say it's dangerous, but it really isn't unless you're building it the wrong way. If you build your car the right way, it's not dangerous and it shouldn't be hated. It's just a style of stance. If somebody told me they didn't like stance, I would say that we all have our own opinions and we all like different things as a human. And we're all still learning and I like stance now, but it doesn't mean I'm not open to other things in the car community. It looking bad is your personal opinion. And to the people that hate stance, Sorry, we're not hurting anybody.